Hey guys, welcome to BMW Black and welcome to Bavaria. Once again, I am back in this beautiful country to test another brand new BMW. Right here, I have the 2023 BMW M340i facelift. I'm gonna go behind the wheel and see how it drives, but before I do that, let's take a quick look at the design changes on the 3 Series facelift. Right off the bat, you can see a completely different front fascia. It's got slimmer headlights. The inner graphics have changed quite a bit too. You can see they're inverted. It gives the car a really nice look. The laser lights are gone, but you're still getting the adaptive lights with blue inserts right there. So that looks quite cool. Kimi grille, same size as before. It's just the edge, the outer edge that has increased a little bit. So it gives the car a more muscular look at the front. You can also spec the Kimi grille either with the mesh or with the double slats. So it's nice to have options there. Front bumper has changed quite a bit. So you can see right here, a hexagonal shape, a honeycomb design. So that's for the air intake, uh, very massive, very sporty looking. Also this area right here, it's a little bit slimmer than before. So there is uh, less of a gap in between the kidney and the bumper. M Sport package standard on the M340i. And as you can see right here, it looks quite massive. You're getting a bunch of black inserts right here because of the extended shadow line. So it gives the car a wider look. And uh, it once again, looks quite, quite sporty. So those are the changes at the front, but now let's take a look on the side view to see if anything has changed there. All right, so side view, as you can see immediately, no changes here, but you are getting some M Sport wheels. You can see the red calipers coming from the M Sport brakes. Of course, some countries still get the M badge on the fender, M mirrors, so you are getting that. There is also an option for a carbon fiber roof, and I've seen that on the M Performance uh, M340i. But other than that, no changes to the front. So let's take a look in the back because there are quite a few there. All right, so rear end design. Immediately you can see a different bumper right here has been redesigned. Uh, the diffuser as well, but you can option this also in carbon fiber if you want. You're getting a free form exhaust pipes. They are actually real pipes. So if you look inside, you'll be able to see actually even a larger pipe than on the previous generation three series. A very solid spoiler on the trunk. You can get a M performance option in carbon fiber as well. Other than that, no changes here, the same tail lights. And like I said, really the only major change is really the bumper, the diffuser and a little bit of bigger exhaust pipe. But let's take a look inside because this is where a lot of the changes happen. So come join me. Inside the BMW M340i and immediately you will notice this very large curved display. There are actually two of them, 12.5, 14.9 and it makes for a very large display similar to what you've seen on the i4 and many other new BMWs. Clearly powered by iDrive 8. So because of that, you are losing these physical buttons right here. And again, some people dislike that. But unfortunately, uh, it is what it is at this point. So of course, because the physical buttons are gone, now some of the AC functions have moved into the iDrive 8. So you have to go into the menu to kind of change things when it comes to the AC. Center console simplified quite a bit. You are losing the beefy uh, gear shifter and you're getting instead this little toggle shifter right here, which you might have seen in some of the uh, new BMWs like the 2 Series Active Tour, for example. Beefy steering wheel, M Sport steering wheel, you know, standard in the M340i. But other than that, really nothing has changed inside. You do have quite a few options when it comes to trim. As you can see right here, it's a carbon fiber. And then of course, a lot of leather options and even cloths. All right, so this was the BMW M340i facelift. And now it's just time to start driving and see what a car can do. It's got a lot of power, so I expect it to be a lot of fun to drive. So come join me. So as promised, I am now behind the wheel of the BMW M340i, the 2023 facelift model. And I'm going to take the car for a spin on the Autobahn and also on some of the back roads surrounding Munich. Of course, you are getting an M suspension. You're also getting an M Sport differential that's unique to this car. And along with that, you're getting the launch control you've seen in the previous model, so no change there. And there is also an M Sprint function. When it comes to the chassis and to the suspension, there were no changes compared to the pre-facelift model. I asked the engineers if anything was changed on the softer side. 
or maybe on the hardware side and they said it's absolutely the same setup as you've seen before so if i recall correctly and based on my experience today you are getting the same three different driving modes from echo comfort to sport clearly comfort it is more comfortable and it's one of those modes that you might be using especially in city driving but then again if you're on some of those back roads curvy roads you might want to switch straight to sport plus not only the car becomes sharper and the suspension becomes sharper as well the steering it's a lot more responsive you're getting a little bit more sound coming from the m sports exhaust and speaking of that it does have some active flaps so they do open up to give you some additional sound you are getting some active sound inside the car no changes there as well you've seen it in other bmws too now speaking of the driving experience once again if you're the type of driver that enjoys a more sporty ride you will of course find yourself to be in that sport mode a lot more often than you probably want so before i talk about the sport mode let me switch back into comfort to kind of give you an idea what the car feels like so immediately i can feel the suspension being a little bit softer there is a lot more uh, softness in the steering not as much feedback coming from the road and once again this is a driving mode that it's best to use especially in stop and go traffic and especially in city driving it, it makes uh, for a more comfortable drive it also helps you maneuver the car a lot easier and uh, it just overall a just calmer ride and something that you and your passenger might enjoy a lot more now of course let me switch back into sport once again you can configure this mode you have sport plus sport individual you can even go into individual settings and you can adjust just the steering the transmission response or the suspension so on and so forth really no surprises there typical to most of the bmws out there today but once again, this is my preferred mode of driving, especially when you come to Germany and you have the chance to go on some of those back roads, curvy roads. Uh, it is ideal to switch into that because the suspension stiffens up quite a bit. There is a lot less body roll on the car. The M Sport differential kicks in, of course, and that helps you stay uh, sharp in these corners. And then, of course, the steering wheel, it's a lot more responsive. You're getting a lot more feedback from the road and it just makes for an overall sportier, you know, more spirited drive. The 3 Series has always been the bread and butter of the brand, so BMW always spends a lot of time making sure that they hit the right notes with the 3 Series. It is such a popular car that on this generation they actually sold 1.1 million 3 Series models already, which is massive. About 80% of them globally, they're sedans, and about 20% they're actually touring models. Of course, the sedan, it's quite popular in the US because it is the only three series model offered. Unfortunately, we do not get the Turing. I will have a chance to drive a Turing uh, three series facelift today. So I'm gonna talk about that in my next video. Now let's talk about the engine. So as all the 40i models, this one, it is powered by the B58 3.0 liter six cylinder. Um, we've talked about this engine quite a bit before. In our opinion, it is one of the best BMW engines ever made. It is used across multiple products in the BMW lineup, and it is a joy to drive, especially in a car of this size. Power output, about 275 kilowatts, which translates into about 370 something horsepower and 500 Newton meters of torque. So plenty of power, plenty of torque. And as you can see, the car just wants to push hard immediately. The M340i also comes with a mild hybrid setup. So it's got a 48 volt that's built into the gearbox. So not only helps with the fuel consumption, but because it is embedded into the transmission, it is a lot smoother to shift and a lot quicker as well. Of course, like all the 48 volt mild hybrid setups, it does provide a little bit of a boost. So in certain situations, you will feel that additional boost, especially when you want to overtake quickly. Um, Honestly, it's not something that you'll notice unless you're really paying attention, but it's just nice to have it. As you can hear, engine sound, it's your typical B58. You are getting those nice blurbs in the back, and that's because of the uh, M Sport exhaust. As I said, it's, it is standard on the M340i, so it's a nice thing to have. You can see overtaking, it's quite easy and effortless. 
and that's a combination of the car size which is a lot smaller than a lot of the new BMWs and of course because of the power band of the B58 the power delivery it's extremely smooth no changes there as well it's got a very progressive power band um, it just pulls hard across a wide rpm range so once again no changes under the hood and i don't see why bmw would want to change anything with this particular b58 engine they've already done quite a few updates and i believe it's in the uh, b58 tu2 version right now i'm not sure if they're going to be another you know technical upgrade in the future but for now this engine it is perfect of course when it comes to the 3 series it is not always about the track performance or the straight line performance but it's really all about daily driving most of the bmw customers will probably not end up on a track to really experience the m340i but they will use the car as a daily driver so in that situation the car has to hit particular points in order to be the ideal daily driver and what do i mean by that well first of all it has to offer a wide range of different driving modes so you have the echo which basically if you want to use that to save some gas that's ideal it is very soft it's not going to give you the most power out of that engine but it makes perfect for stop and go traffic now if you want to go over long distances and you have people with you you might want to switch over into comfort you don't want the car to be too bouncy you don't want the car to maybe have too much cabin noise coming from the exhaust so that's a nice option to have and then of course we've talked about the sport plus if you want to go sporty maybe you're by yourself and you want to tackle some of those back roads like here then of course go into sport and you know the car it's going to give its best so as a daily driver really no changes there it is one of the best products bmw makes today if money no object i will always go for the m340i it is a mini m3 basically uh, in many cases a lot of people prefer this over the m3 one because it is cheaper and two because it has a different design to put it that way so you're not getting the obnoxious large kidney grill which some people actually love but you are getting that more tamed more typical bmw design at the front the m340i it is offered in two variants so you have a rear wheel drive which is always nice and then of course you have an x drive and that's especially useful if you live in the snow belt areas or in any country that snows quite a bit it's a nice option to have of course you should always spec that with some proper winter tires power is sent via an eight-speed automatic the typical zf eight-speed automatic it has been refined over time and as i mentioned before it is quite precise very smooth shifting and that's also aided by the mild hybrid system i've mentioned before once again talking about cornering performance as you can see here i'm going through some bends proper braking from the m sport brakes always nice to have in the m340i i can feel the m sport differential kicking in especially it's kind of like a wet surface right now so that helps quite a bit yet suspension it's perfect it absorbs the road quite well and um, the cornering keeps the car planted on the road there is not much body roll and not something i would expect to see in the three series you will get a body roll in bigger cars or in crossovers steering actually it's quite precise you get a lot of feedback from the road so you can actually feel that feedback through the steering it is of course a little bit more dialed down compared to a full m3 or m4 model but once again that's a design choice because not every customer wants to have a very sporty daily driver i know that some of you don't enjoy the really large curve display but from a premium standpoint if you want to have a more premium interior i guess everyone is moving towards large curve displays or large displays and i guess bmw is following that trend as well uh, you've seen the very same display in multiple multiple new bmws even more recently in the bmw x7 facelift i do enjoy the m graphics quite a bit as you can see right here they display a lot of information they're relevant to the sport mode but then of course you can switch into comfort and echo pro and the graphics will change to different colors and different layout as well head-up display it's also standard always nice to have it's got different graphics when you're in sport mode 
kind of like M colors and it displays all the relevant information that you need. You can customize that if you want. There are a lot of customizations inside the BMW iDrive 8 and I guess that's one of the benefits of getting that system in the car. So I'm gonna try to find a straight line with no traffic because I wanna see what the car can do from zero to 62 miles per hour, zero to 100 kilometers per hour. So stay tuned for that. As you can see, the car is quite fast, especially with the launch control. And I believe, I mean, I'm not able to tell exactly right now, but I think we've done probably somewhere in the low four seconds range. So the rain has stopped a little bit, so the pavement is a little bit more dry, so I can push the car a little bit more. It's really nice curvy roads around here. You can hear that B58 sounds great, even though it's got a little bit of the fake sound inside the cabin. The engine pulls hard, as I mentioned before. It's got a really nice power delivery and the car is really composed on the road, quite grippy, it turns in nicely, uh, pretty sharp steering, so um, a lot of fun to drive. So once again, the US market gets two variants, an M340i real wheel drive. Uh, we're also getting the M340i X drive. There is also the option to take a 330e plug-in hybrid, which is a fantastic option. So if you don't want to go for top sporty model, you can always pick that 330 It is a fantastic car. There is also a 330i powered by a four-cylinder engine. So that's the more economical choice, also probably the more fuel-friendly. So plenty of options when it comes to models offered in the US. Of course, if you live in Europe, you do have the option to pick a wide range of diesel engines and also touring models and one of my favorite probably touring models here it's the m340d not only it has a lot of power a little bit less than the m340i but it comes with a lot more torque and that makes for a fantastic drive today unfortunately i'm not going to drive that car i'm going to be hopping behind the wheel of a 320d touring so that's a four cylinder diesel and clearly that's one of the popular options offered in europe in the us this particular model the uh, 2023 bmw m340i x drive starts at about fifty five thousand dollars there was a price increase compared to the previous year and that price increase has applied across a wide range of bmw models so once again this is the bmw m340i it is one of BMW's best products today. Honestly, if I was in the market for a mid-size sedan from BMW, I would definitely look at the M340i. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, you do have some other options when it comes to power plants, but if money, no object, this is the one car to have because it is a lot of fun to drive. Now, of course, you will have to decide if you want to go for an M340i real wheel drive or you want to go for the X-Drive version. And actually, I'm kind of curious to find out uh, in the comments below which option would you pick i didn't have a chance to actually ask bmw which one of the options it's more popular but i make sure to get that information and drop it in the comments descriptions below so once again this is the bmw m340i x drive facelift as always i appreciate you watching us i would appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel we want to grow our channel a lot faster and as you might have noticed we've been putting out a lot of videos lately and we do have a very cool video coming out with a bmw m2 so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit that notification bell as always thank you and i'll see you in the next one was it rolling all right all right so talk about a little bit more the driving experience so this is in bavaria so come join me actually let me do this outro one like one more time